guys welcome back to my channel i am so glad you're here if you're new here i'm christina and i am a mom of five kids in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you what i'm putting in their christmas stockings and what i got them for christmas today's video is in collaboration with a whole bunch of other moms who are sharing what they're putting in their kids stockings this collab is hosted by Yasmin over at Mommy on the Move. Thank you so much, Yasmin, for hosting this collaboration. Her channel will be linked down below as well as the link to this playlist, which I'm going to need as much as all of you. So full disclosure, before I even get into it, I almost didn't film this video today. In fact, I started cleaning and decided I'm not going to I'm not going to be a part of the collaboration. Nobody's going to notice. There's a lot of people in this collaboration because I don't have it together. So, I don't have everything for my stockings and I don't have everything that I'm getting my kids for Christmas. So, I was like, "You know what? I'm going to go ahead and skip this one." As a matter of fact, I have another video that I can put out this week and no one is even going to notice. And then I decided, "You know what, guys? I'm going to keep it real." I agreed to be a part of this collaboration. Not the end of the world if I couldn't be a part of it, right? But maybe there's something in here that will give you one little idea that will help you out that one of your kids might like. Or maybe it'll just flat out make you laugh when you see how together I am not. Here I am keeping it real. Here's what I've got so far. So I have kids ranging from 20, Two, I don't even know, 22 months old until 14 years old. So 22 months, three-year-old, six-year-old, 10-year-old, 14-year-old. So I run the gamut of like every age group that you'd possibly need. I might be helpful in some of those age groups. I may not, but let's just get started. So I'm going to first show you our stockings. <sighs> These are our stockings giant stockings. Why? Well, I thought that they were just adorable and beautiful. And I actually got them at Walmart, which honestly, for the quality, for the personalization, great deal. Beautiful. Wonderful. I was even able to go back and add, you know, another year. I had another kid, another year I had another kid. And thank you, Jesus. They had the same one, so I didn't have to start over. They're all hanging up there, if you can sort of see them. They take so much stuff. So, if the only tip I can give you today is don't get big stockings, don't get big stockings. So, lots of room to fill these bad boys up. What do I have to show you for jewels today, you ask? Nothing. I did order her two board books from the Daily Grace Co. I got her the Fruit of the Spirit and I forget the name of the other one, but if it comes, I will show it to you. They were $5 because they were a great deal. They're beautiful. They are about faith, which I absolutely love. And they are board books, which she needs because she kind of tears up books, if you know what I mean. What else am I going to put in her stocking? I'm not quite sure. I am eyeing this musical instruments set. I've been looking at it for a while. It is on my Amazon storefront. I've personally been meaning to buy it. It's all the little wooden instruments so if we were gonna do like music time together. So I might grab that and then instead of giving it as a main gift, put like a few in hers, a few in Sethi's. So I will link that down below. Any other ideas, you guys? Let me know for a 22 month old. She puts everything in her mouth, so it limits that. She just plays with whatever's around and I don't like to spend money just for the sake of spending money. So that's the other thing like, I don't spend a lot of money for Christmas, guys, and you will kind of see this as the video progresses. So she might end up getting things that she actually needs in here, like clothes. Who knows? She'll be fine either way. She's a sweetie. She's easy. Now, next up would be my three-year-old. He wants pretty much everything that his six-year-old sister, 10-year-old brother, and 14-year-old brother have. That's where it gets a little interesting, but I will share with you what I have for him. Um... This is in no particular order as far as like stockings and gifts. I'm a little all over the place with both of those things. 
but I will share with you that most of the things going in my three-year-old and my six-year-old stockings are things straight out of the knowledge crates. And some of these items are from the fall knowledge crate that we just didn't get to all the activities from. And some are from the winter knowledge crates because we have them in both the preschool and school age crates. I did an unboxing of it in my shopping small video a while back. I'll try to remember to link that down below or up above in the iCards. No promises on that. So most of the things going in their stockings are from there. Why? Because I already have them, so why not? I don't need to spend extra money and they're gonna love the stuff. So first thing that's going in my six-year-old and three-year-old stockings, they're each getting their own little stack of Play-Doh. I may make a last minute judgment call and give two of them to my 10 year old because he actually really likes to play with Play-Doh with them too. He may want to kill me for saying that, but it's true. So they'll be getting Play-Doh. Then one thing that is honestly my favorite about Knowledge Crates are their little Play-Doh accessory kits. So it always has this little baggie of seasonal little like loose parts types things for them to play with. So because I got both boxes, the school age crate and the preschool crate, I have one of each. So three-year-old, six-year-old, they'll get those to go along with their Play-Doh. The probably thing they love equally as much or second to best would be the seasonal colored paint. So each of them will get a three pack. This little random book, probably going to my six-year-old. This was in the fall knowledge crate, I believe. We never got to it, we never read it. It was in the bottom of the box. Stocking stuffer. These come in every knowledge crate. So I have about six of these currently because yeah, we didn't use them. So perfect stocking stuffer size. One for my three-year-old, one for my six-year-old, boom. These come in almost every one too. So one of them each. These came in the winter one. These I think were left over from the fall one. Three-year-old, six-year-old. They always come with bonus art materials. So they'll be getting some glitter and wintry stickers so that they can do some little crafts with those. Winter yoga came in each of the preschool and school age boxes. So they'll each get their own little booklet of yoga, which they'll love. This one I was thinking of, I'm not sure if my 10 year old will love this or not. So either my 10 year old or my six year old or my three year old. I don't know, vote for me down below maybe. Who should get the disappearing ink and top secret little notebook? I'm not quite sure, but that's going in someone's stocking. Um, then, this one is definitely going to Gia. It's this cute little wintry pencil that has the little, you know, the little ones that go in. They've had these since I was a kid. I don't know. Cute penguiny. She likes penguins. That's going in her stocking. Someone's getting model magic. There's only one of these left. So against my better judgment, somebody's going to get this. And then whoever doesn't is probably going to be mad. Next. <clears throat> These little 3D snowmen, I decided these are going to fit in that stocking. So we're gonna take up some room with these. Three-year-old, six-year-old. This little, this was for something. This is for one of the activities. So I don't know, someone will love this little, why do kids, they love these little notebooks. Any size, any shape, lined or not lined. I feel like kids just love these. So someone's getting that one. Then there are all these extra paintbrushes. So paintbrushes are going in the stockings. This is one of these cool pens that has all the different colored pens. Again, can't decide if this is going to be for my 10 year old. I feel like even my 14 year old would like this. Not sure yet. Even my six year old, again, someone's gonna be annoyed that it's not theirs, but. Um, these little snowman button match memory card thingies going to my three year old. This is another one that was in, I can't remember if this was from the fall box or the winter box, but it was like a little nature journal to go with a really cute activity that we didn't get around to. We do tons of the activities. I don't want you to think we don't, but like some of this winter stuff we would have done before Christmas if I didn't decide I was gonna make use of these as stocking stuffers. We've been doing ton of, tons of the activities. 
We'll do tons of the activities after Christmas. I'm just really taking advantage of this opportunity to not spend extra money on my stockings. But I will tell you, Knowledge Crates are a win, you guys. If it's for birthdays, if it's you want to gift them the whole box, if you still need stocking stuffers and you have like kids around the same age, just order a Knowledge Crate. Stick that stuff in their stocking. Then you have, I don't have it in front of me, but you have the activity book with all the directions and it's going to be great. So someone's getting this little notebook. I'm going to break it up. Somebody will get this one. Somebody will get this one. I'm thinking this nice one that I have that was not from the Knowledge Crate. This really nice journal I'm thinking is going to go to my 14 year old. So um, that's something that will go in my 14 year old stocking. So jumping over to him really quick. Another thing that may go in his stocking, I have to talk to my husband about this because he might be like, stop it right now. Another thing that comes in knowledge crates all the time is shaving cream because they always have really cool shaving cream activities. So yes, I did pull this out because my 14 year old has a mustache and I keep going back and forth about whether he needs to shave or not. So this with a razor may go in my 14 year old stocking. I'm going to need to talk that one over with my husband. So I'll keep you posted. Let me know down below. Is that too soon? Do I just let him rock the mustache? I have no idea. This is my first time doing it. He's my oldest. So um, that's pretty much, oh, no, just kidding. Not it for stocking stuffers. Um, I also bought my 14 year old a like a men's devotional from Daily Grace Co. I think it was also on sale for five or $10. That is gonna go in his stocking. That's in the same order with the board books that I got my 22 month old also in that order is a really pretty necklace um from the daily grace co i have one on and i got one for my daughter it was on sale for 16 dollars. they are 18 karat gold plated it comes with a scripture so it has like a meaning to it which i love she's going to love that not sure if it'll go in her stocking or if I'll just wrap it up and give it to her as one of her gifts, but that is coming in that order as well. These crayons, I don't remember where they came from, but it's a brand new package of crayons <laughs> that I found in my stuff. So these are going in someone's stocking, you guys. Um, this I did actually purchase as a stocking stuffer. I did share the sun stories a little while back. We already have one of these pouches and four of the little boards. But I added one more board in, and this is for my six-year-old because she has the three-lined one. This is the five-lined one. I'll use this to test her like on her spelling words or just let her practice writing some words down, those kinds of things. And this little set also comes with this little retractable chalk holder with a piece of chalk. She also has the chalk pencils, which she loves. So... I'm gonna give this to her and give the older um, pouch and pencil or chalk holder to my three-year-old. Something that may not fit in the stocking or I may make it fit depending on if I need a gift wrapped or I need another thing in the stocking is this book, The Gruffalo. This was also a Knowledge Crate um, book. It came in the winter Knowledge Crate. We haven't read it yet, so I pulled it out and this definitely has my three-year-old's name written all over it. So this will either be a gift or a stocking stuffer for him. Not sure yet. This my husband saw in the Target dollar spot and got so excited because my son loves Paw Patrol. I have a love-hate relationship with Paw Patrol. So total side note. I don't like TV. If you haven't been around very long, you might not know this, or maybe I haven't mentioned it in a while, but I'm very anti-TV. I don't even know why we have a TV. I don't like screen time, no judgment if you do, but I just see major changes in behavior when my three-year-old watches TV. So it's a no for me. Not all TV is created equal though. Some that are like fast paced and overstimulating are like addictive and it's a whole nother story. Maybe I'll do a video on it one day, maybe I won't. But he loves Paw Patrol. He loves all of the characters. He has gotten some of the characters and their vehicles for his birthday from other relatives that don't have an issue with TV. Um, and my husband saw this and was like, come on, he's going to love this. And it was like $3. So I was like, you know what? Fine. I really don't want to promote this, but at least it's an activity pack. I don't know. And if I end up needing a gift for him that's wrapped, a $3 gift. We are not doing more than like three to five gifts max. Really, my goal is three. But again, we'll just have to see how everything shakes out when I finally like 
get everything together probably on Christmas Eve. Like that's where I'm at. But I did grab this or, you know, my husband did at the Target dollar spot. We were there together. This came in the winter knowledge crate and I can't quite decide if I want to make this a family gift where we all kind of work on this together. That could be a really cool thing where I'm like, all right, we're going to work on this together and we are really going to make it a collaborative thing that we can look back throughout the year and maybe put like goals in there together and like, I don't know, do some collaborative artwork, maybe some collages, maybe each person takes a month. Maybe we write notes to each other on the birthday months. We'll see. We'll see. I was thinking originally about giving it to my 10 year old because he loves artwork and he's an artist and let him create like beautiful art for each month or my six year old who would just absolutely love making a calendar. I don't know. I'll get back to you, but this is definitely going to be going to someone on Christmas morning. Another thing my kids need kind of is clothes. So for my two boys, one of the gifts that I got them is a hooded sweatshirt from Beacon Clothing Co. This is a Christian clothing company that I absolutely love. They have really great prices. I've gotten their t-shirts before. I've yet to get any of their sweatshirts, but I got um, one for my 10 year old that says trust God and chill. And then I got one for my 14 year old that says, I think it's the Micah scripture, but it's not like word for word. So I think it says like, love mercy, live justly, walk humbly or something like that. It's like a spin on the Micah verse. Um, and his name is Justice. So I just thought it was perfect. They're both black and white. Those will be coming. Those are going to be one of their wrapped gifts for Christmas. And then for their big gift is going to be a shared gift. And it is a new keyboard because my oldest son got a keyboard when he was, I don't even know, three or four, maybe five. And they used it for years and years and it stopped working about a year ago, maybe a bit more. And we haven't replaced it because it can be kind of expensive. That is the most expensive thing that anyone will be getting over here for Christmas. And something that I also got them to go along with it is this Play and Sing five chord worship songs keyboard book. So the goal is for them not only to learn to play, but to have it be used to stir their gifts. And so this is one of the gifts that's going to go along with it. I think I'm going to have them open this and then they're going to be like, uh, what are we going to do with this? And then their final gift will be the keyboard. My thought, which would kind of like almost finish us up for Christmas, to be honest, because I don't like to overdo it. My thought was to get kind of like a kitty keyboard for the younger ones so that they don't want to touch the older boys ones and they don't drive them crazy. So that's kind of my last idea for that. I could have something else coming in the mail that I can't remember. Oh, there was one more thing. Where did they go? Okay. Um, one more thing for my 14 year old and my 10 year old, they've both been asking me for erasable gel pens. So I did get them each one of these from Amazon. It was a black Friday sale. They are linked in my Amazon shop. I'll also link them down below. They are doing the Good and the Beautiful U.S. Constitution unit and the journal recommends gel pens because it's like a doodle journal. It's pretty cool. Um, erasable gel pens. And so they really wanted them because they don't like when they make a mistake and have to cross it out and things like that. So they'll be super pumped about these. So that is everything, you guys. Once again, I know I don't have it all together. Hopefully there was something helpful, whether it be an idea or just maybe some encouragement or humor that like, I don't have it all together over here. So if you're not done, then you're not alone. If you are done, you're doing better than me. If you are interested in grabbing Knowledge Crates, definitely use my code ROOTED15. I've linked Knowledge Crates down below and ROOTED15 will get you 15% off your subscription. It is hands down the most helpful subscription. It is tied up as a favorite with the Land of Storybooks, but it is hands down the most helpful in my home in terms of keeping my kids busy with something valuable while also giving me time to either connect with them by doing it with them or to just watch them do it together and do something positive while I cook dinner and look on or get something done that I need to get done. So. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Are you done shopping? Are you not? Do you have any ideas for me? Share all of your thoughts down below, you guys. 
If you're not already following me over on Instagram, you can follow me there at rooted underscore home life. I share more day-to-day -day things that we do around here and kind of more of a peek inside our everyday lives. So if you're not following me over there, definitely come follow me. Don't forget to check out Yasmin's channel who is hosting this collaboration from Mommy on the Move and check out the playlist to all of the other moms who are sharing what they got their kids Christmas stockings. Chances are they're more helpful than me. I need to go watch those videos <laughs> myself. So I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and until next time, stay rooted.